What is going on guys? You may have heard last week that Alpha 1 testing dates have finally been revealed. The long-awaited MMORPG is about to have the veil lifted on an early look and everyone is asking, how exactly do I get into Alpha 1? And what do these dates mean? Well, let's get into it. Starting out with the big question, how do you gain access to Alpha 1? Well, it's not exactly simple anymore. The times of buying a bundle to jump into the testing is over with. At least for Alpha 1, you can still buy into Alpha 2. But back in the days of 2017, you could back the Kickstarter for $485 with the Braver of Worlds bundle, and this would grant you Alpha 1 access, among other things. Those days ended in the summer of 2018 when Intrepid met their cap for Alpha 1 testers and closed the package. After two years of waiting for Alpha 1 to launch, you now have another more luck-oriented chance at getting an Alpha 1 key. On November 7th, 2020 at 9 a.m. Eastern Time, Intrepid will be doing their annual Extra Life 24-hour charity stream, with a goal of $30,000, which leads to Stephen Sharif shaving off his beard. But starting from $2,000 and going every other milestone, they will be giving away an Alpha 1 key along with new lore for the game. We can only see the milestones up to $13,000, but I feel it's pretty safe to assume that the pattern of every other will continue, giving us the possibility of at least 15 Alpha 1 keys to give away if Intrepid hits that $30,000 goal. Currently, this is the best and only way for you to gain Alpha 1 access if you don't have it already. Otherwise, it is pretty safe to say though that there probably will be more contests down the road leading up to Alpha 1 testing, as we just had the Glorious Gourds contest end this past Tuesday, where winners would also win some Alpha 1 keys. So be sure to keep an eye out on the Ashes of Creation Twitter for the latest announcements. Anyways, after you attempt to secure your key, well, you will want to pay close attention to this chart. As starting on December 18th and going until the 21st, there will be the pre-Alpha 1 test for all Bravers and Intrepid pack holders, this being under NDA. But that doesn't mean you won't see footage, because Intrepid is very transparent on development and creative direction. Director Stephen Sharif has already promised to give us some footage of the event so the larger community can see what's going on and enjoy it as well. From here we move into February 19th to February 22nd for pre-test 2, again under NDA and for all of the same people previously mentioned with a 3 month gap in between. This gap in time will be so Intrepid can go into fixing bugs and work towards player feedback moving into the next round of testing. So when the NDA is lifted the world will see the best possible version of Alpha 1. And that NDA release is happening on March 19th with pre-test 3 going on for a full week starting the 19th through the 26th. During this time, all Alpha 1 testers and all official content creators, whom are those people invited to join by Intrepid, will be able to stream, record, and create loads of content for Ashes of Creation and show the current state of game. And from here, Alpha 1 officially launches on April 6th going for a full month until May 6th giving you loads of time to enjoy all of that content that all those Ashes of Creation content creators and Ashes backers will be showing through that entire month. What are your guys' thoughts on Alpha 1, and will you be one of the many people playing or just tuning in to see as much content as possible? Let me know in the comments down below, and if you are new to Ashes at all and have yet to make an account over on the Ashes of Creation website, feel free to use my referral link in the description below. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, Turn on the bell for notifications and stay tuned for a lot more to come.